Today, I want to share a story and hopefully teaching a lesson. Picture this. You're playing with your friends in Escape from Tarkov. You got three others, a team of four total, and you all end up dying to the same person. What comes to mind of what caused this death? Nine out of ten times, it's communication. At one time, it's probably a cheater. One of the hardest things to do in Escape from Tarkov is communicate with your other teammates. In a high-stress, high-paced environment in Tarkov, knowing who's friendly and who's the enemy can be very challenging at times. Sure, you can tell what an AI scav looks like. Heck, sometimes even scavs look like PMCs with gazelles and other high-end gear. But usually they are cussing at you in Russian. But what about your teammates? We are so used to first-person shooters. Heck, all video games out there. If you're on the same team as somebody, you usually have an indicator over that person's head. So you don't get mixed up and kill your friend on accident. Today, I'm going to share a story. Maybe teach you a lesson on the importance of communication with your teammates and how poor communication can lead to the death of a fellow friend without even realizing you killed him. Ah, all right. Custom time, baby. Day. Actually, no, it's gonna be the last raid of day one for us. Hang with Berserker and Rogan. Ralph has known Berserker for quite some time. Ten plus years, Wogan is a newer feller that I met earlier this year. One thing I'm learning during this hardcore playthrough is the importance of looting all the areas and honestly just taking the raids a lot slower than I normally would. A lot of times I just like to rush into things, get some PvP action, but you know, I'm going to let the PvP come to me. I don't know about y'all, but it seems like this this uh, new update with the audio, I don't know if they, uh, what the heck they did, but everything just sounds so incredibly louder. I don't know if the headsets that, it, that Ragman gave him are just tuned differently or what. Volumes turned up like 195 degrees. Ralph actually may go, uh, may go deaf. Wait, what do you guys? Is somebody up here? Waiting for Mr. Long Legs. Oh. I'm yeah, solo walking there. All right, let's we'll do the creep. Hey man, gotta work on that shit early, you know. Can you imagine creeping all the way from this side of the map to the other? It'd be hilarious. After finding no action over in the big red area, we head across Land Bridge and head towards Crack House, Med House, whatever you want to call it. And see if we can not find some PP action. We heard some gunshots. Man, with this new audio, Ralph and his teammates are trying to keep comms to a minimum just so we can hear everything since audio is so, so, so important. I'm on the backside. In front. Doors are open. Coming in. I'm in. I'm in front. Checking bathroom. Bathroom's clear. The door's open here. In the back. Anybody checked upstairs yet? Negative. I, I can see the hallway. I haven't seen anyone. Upstairs once I've got. Are you looting right now? Listen, just hear me out, alright? Do uh, you want to help you, you want me to help you play the game so we don't die? I need uh I have issues. Alright? Issues, just don't worry about it. We're all alive, safe. Communication's great. Looks like they moved on. Yep. Alright, I thought we were clearing the building. I know, I know. I was just trying to I don't know, maybe make some audio noise to see if they push down. I just have looting issues, alright? ADHD. Speaking of ADHD, what the heck are all those noises going on over in Old Gas or Stronghold? I think it's Old Gas. That looks like uh, Berserk is in Mechanic right now. Yeah, headed out towards you guys.
startled me. Holy cow. I hear running. I heard running. Second floor, probably. Yep, I hear running too. Yep, second floor. On it. Oh my goodness, these echoes. Ugh. I'm like over near the stairs. Like the entrance is just right by the stairs in the center. He just ADS. You're on that like train side, right? Yeah, I'm inside. He's moving. May have come down the stairs. No, I think he's still above. But yeah, maybe. That was really close. I think he's close because he's directly above you. Above me. Okay, copy. So you would see him he's straight moving? down that way. Um, he's right up, still above me. Yeah. Straight down that hallway when you peek up. I get in this fight. Or are you guys in this position? Be able to... That's a scav. Oh, scav spawn here now. I'm pushing in. I'm going up the scav. Got him. Nice. Yeah, they changed the scav spawns. That's right. The new sound is so crazy. I'm heading downstairs. I, I, I can only assume that they pushed the old gas like really fast yep it, it some of it was yeah it fucking scab scared me holy cow yeah he's out front just standing there after that butt puckering moment, we're all just clenching everything. We're gonna head on over towards the old gas area. Keep on moving and grooving. Frank wasn't hit, but he didn't have much. I wonder why Frank got killed by Sniper Scav. Tried to have more fucking action this time. Yeah. Don't you jinx it, man. There could be someone at extract or something. Never know. Someone's here. Someone's here. <laughs> you jinx it. Other side. It, it, oh, He's on me. I thought that was fucking. He's just right on the other side of that wall. Just right oh, on the fuck. other side. I'm dead. Yeah, Bruce. Right at your left. Right out there. I'm with you. He's right there, turn left, outside. That's not him, dude, stop! We said outside. That's him. Oh, killed me. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, damn, there's another one. Sorry, guys. You're good. I'm so sorry. Hey, uh, first one of the wipe. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Get <laughs> I should have asked if you're in the, which side that you were on. I just thought you were on the outside, so I looked. It's my bad. Fuck. Yeah, we just had bad communication there because I thought you were still on the outside because I saw that guy run up and he was like, like I saw that guy run up, or I thought it was you or whatever. And then because Berserker was behind somebody, and you guys must have both gone in, and he must have come from the other side. That dude, like, I had oh, contact fours. Holy. I had full ability on that dude. Yeah. He had no right to kill me. This is a like a play. Hold on. Oh, it was a PMC. Okay. Oh, he took what? I killed two other PMCs. My stuff is insured. But I'm like full, so you have like you're gonna spend a while looting through all that shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, this guy had a full mechanism. Oh. 
only I didn't get gunned down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> With that, I'm gonna turn the oven on because I have to still finish. Oh my game. goodness, Jesus. Oh my gosh, what do I do? What do I do? No. No, actually, what I'm gonna do, I know what I'm gonna do here. I got this one. Damn, you had a Cayman. Nice, dude. <laughs> it didn't do me any good. <laughs> yeah. I also figured you might have would have noticed my red armor. <laughs> Listen, I swear in the heat of the moment, William said he's running. He's right there in front of you, and I shot. All right, I think I'm done looting. I'm pretty sure I spent like the last 15 minutes looting. I. Holy cow. Alright, well, I'm gonna try to head to Extract. Maybe I'll get another quest done. I do have a known key. Oh, fuck, Scav. Oh, oh, no. What? Huh? Okay. Oh. I played like a Scav and found a dead PMC. And with like gear I've never seen before, like a kid at M4. And I was so fucking petrified scared, I grabbed it and hid in a shipping container and waited till there was like five minutes left and then ran for the next track. Yeah, I know. This is a random story in the middle of the raid where I'm trying to listen. Anyways. Completely unjustified because like, I think I remember hearing like two or three people walking by me, even though I technically just never moved, but people like rotated around. But I don't think it'll make you more mad, but... If it was clutch, you should always assume he's where the loot is, and there was no loot over there. <laughs> Unless you killed someone. Hey, don't make fun of my looting problems. Well, it, it was just a really weird situation, because I, like, I saw clutch ahead of you go in, and then you followed him, obviously, but I had looked away like I was doing something else, like, at that time. Yeah. And so I thought clutch had moved further past to, like, maybe do the jump over or something. Where's this letter at? And they've moved items too. Sometimes they're in different areas in the cabin now. So the letter that you're looking for is going to be uh, in the cabin. Oh no, I hear a scab. Oh no. Hi. Oh, I'm getting a hit. I'm gonna die in here. Come on. What am I hitting? I'm dead. Okay. Um, I'm done. A scav did. That's unfortunate, man. That sucks so much. I've I, seen that before, though. Where no. people stare at the scav and you overcommitted to trying to kill him. I hope this was a good example and a good learning opportunity for a lot of people out there that do struggle with communication like myself. In that situation, there's really no blame game to be played. I heard Berserker originally say that he was inside Old Gas, but then he corrected himself and said the enemy was outside Old Gas. I definitely got some tunnel vision there and shot the first thing I saw. It's part of Tarkov though, with no indicators over people's heads. In the heat of the moment, heat of the battle, sometimes, stuff like this happens. And if you play a lot of three to five man teams, you know hesitation. A lot of times you're trying not to get your teammate killed, ends up getting you killed. The best way to learn in life is from making mistakes and keep on trying with good persistence. Well, that's a wrap for day one officially for Ralph. 149 days to go until the traders and the flea market are usable. Thanks for watching.